Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install a stern pinball topper. Um, this one happens to be a Stranger Things topper I've been waiting on for a while. Stranger Things is an awesome game. If you guys have not played it, play it. Give it a chance. You'll love it too. I guarantee it. But um, let's just show you here real quick. The only tools you're going to need for this really is a flathead or a flathead, a Phillips head screwdriver. And I guess if you want to get a safety knife or something to cut the box open, you can you get one of those too. But that's it. That's all you're going to need. Let's get this mug open and get to work. Don't forget your instructions are in here, guys. They're really handy. Makes this job really easy. They explain step by step what to do. Even though I don't agree with the couple or the very first step, actually. I'll show you guys in the video what you should do first. Let's get this out of here. And here's a first look of it outside of the box. You can sort of see the little plastics in here. This is a really cool effect and it's going to look much better lit up, but it's an infinity mirror with an LED strip around some plastics. You can see right here, there's two holes on this side and there's two on the other side. Here's two cords coming out of the bottom of your topper. Uh, in your instructions, you'll see the first step is obviously get the topper out of the box. On the second page, it shows you the four screws that you take out of your back box and this plug that's in the middle of your back box. And if you go ahead and do that first, that's the first step I would do. Just go ahead and open your back, back glass, fold it down and pop that thing out. So on your next page, I would recommend reading this, but if you watch this video, you can see it's just a couple of plug-ins, super easy. Um, once you're done with this page, you're done. So guys, for step one, um, I would just go ahead and power your game off. Make sure it's off. Open up your coin door and get your back box keys out. This is going to make the whole process go a little bit smoother in my opinion. It's really hard to get that plug out from the top without sticking some something flat underneath it. And then you're risking bending that little plug. So get your uh, back glass out, set it aside, and if you look right up here guys, right here's that little plug. It's so much easier to get to from the inside of the back box, so have a look here guys. If you spin this thing, I'm going to try to show you on the camera. Spin it around, there's a tab on each side, all you really have to do is squeeze this and then you can push it right through. Uh, as soon as you remove it, you wanna stick it somewhere where you know it, you can find it. I always put mine in my coin box. That way if you, you need it back in there for some reason, get rid of your topper or whatever reason, you'll have it, you'll know where it's at. Okay, so here we are. Um, we're on top of the back box now. If you look at the picture and look at your the top of your back box, you can see the screws here and here are located here and here. It matches the picture pretty well. And then, of course, on the other side, it's the same two screws, just the far corners on each side. So in shooting this video, I wanted to do as much as I could in real time to show you how quick this is, the whole process is. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and do this uh, with one hand, all while balancing myself on a spinning bar stool, but hey, this is what I do for you guys. I risk my life, I risk breaking my neck to show you how to install pinball toppers. <laughs> 
just kidding guys if you do this uh please be safe get a step ladder or something maybe have somebody help you it would make this go five times faster you can have it done in five minutes instead of ten let's switch views here put the camera on my other machine so you guys can see what i'm doing here i'm just really stretching over to grab these other two screws so uh once you get these four screws out just uh, stick them in your pocket or something just don't lose them you're gonna need them That's it guys, you got your screws out. Next thing you do, grab your topper. Have someone hand it to you. Again, I was doing this by myself, so I just had everything kind of set where I could reach it. Carefully set this mug up. here standing on a stool that rotates. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do that. Just got too excited. You know how it is. You get something new, you get so excited. So you gotta take those off. And you wanna feed the wires down through the hole. It's easy stuff. show you <clears throat> how easy so you just want to grab those wires and pull them through from underneath that's what I was doing very carefully and let those hang down you can see up here everything lines up you've got your holes where you took the screws out then there's holes in the topper that just go right over top of the screws that are already on top of your uh, machine so, this is really really easy it's, it's easy stuff just take your screws I like to get mine started second this part's easy you guys can see it's just four screws all right guys I figured out a way if the camera looks a little shaky it's because my camera is hanging on my light fixture but yeah just take your four screws and we're gonna do this in real time after all so. I'm going to strip it so I don't want to force it but I do the same thing when I'm trying to put screws in metal rails and stuff in the game so. but also if I can see I'm about blind in my middle age So if you can see, you, you shouldn't have any problem with this. <laughs> so I've got my screws in my pocket. Such an addicting hobby, pinball. And then you get these accessories like this that you just feel like you can't live without. 
This one's gonna be a stretch for me again. It's really gonna be hard to see to line this up from here. It's basically lined up, but <clears throat> you guys can see what I'm stretching. I'm on this little bar stool and it swivels. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you can kind of see the plastics in there. You got a demodog, a demodog, and a, I guess it's a demogorgon in the middle. Uh, let's see around this one. This is all feel right here. It'd be a lot easier if I just move. Uh, the Avengers machine over and work from that side, but I don't know. I'm an impatient, rushy person. <laughs> That's got it. I ain't going nowhere. It's a weird design. But looks like they got more screw holes in there, but they just didn't, uh, didn't use them. Check a video and see if somebody else is just like that. Maybe Stern uh, fell asleep at the factory. Hmm. Oh well. Looks good. Alright, let's bring the camera on down. Here's what I had rested on. and get this hooked up down here. Actually, I'm gonna pause it so I can get off this bench. Okay, guys, so no matter what the instructions say, if you uh, open up your back glass and pop that out first, that's gonna be the easiest route. And it's already open. So we've already got pages two and three out of the way. We got the four screws in. Let's see, it finally tells you in step four to open up your back glass. You see, we've already done that in step one, so saves you a little step. So next, all we gotta do is just hook um, hook our wires in. Without wasting too much time, I'll just show you where they go. This one will go. Your little tab goes backwards, but it goes right here in this middle part. And then the other one, you can see the shape is flat on this side. You look down here on C7 in your box, the flat part is on this side. So if you just turn it this way, it plugs in like that. Hard to get an angle. Just showing you guys, it just plugs right in pretty easy. And that's it, guys. All that's left is just securing your wires. them any way you want. Here's you just push your little button in here. Or you can do whichever way, but without wasting any more time for my video uh, memory purposes, I'll go ahead and close this up and show you what it looks like. Alright guys, powering up for the first time here. look at our new topper. I'd rather do this at night, but maybe I'll reshoot it. Just wanted to finish this video up. And there we have it. That looks pretty sweet and real uh, in person. And here's a look at it at night time. Well guys, that's all there really is to installing a stern pinball topper. 
uh, just four screws on the top, uh, a plug in the back box that you pop out, run your two wires, plug them in, pop, pop. That's it. I didn't see a video on YouTube, so I figured I'd make one. That's what I'm here for. If I don't see a video tutorial on something, I make it. 